There is a lot of stories concerning the fallen angels that can be deduced from the Bible and the some other pseudepigraphical books like the Book of Enoch. However, are they real or just myths? Are the fallen angels' stories real as they are being told or they are more of parables, just like the way Jesus teaches in parables? In this video, I shall be taking a closer look at some of the lies concerning who the angels and the fallen angels are, and what makes the angel fallen. However, I will look at the truths concerning the angels and fallen angels first, before deducing the lies about them. Now, the first thing we must establish concerning the fallen angels that is well known is that Lucifer who is believed to be Satan, is the devil himself. Even though some scriptures separate Lucifer from Satan. However, whether he is the same person or not, for the purpose of this video, I shall assume that Lucifer is the same as Satan or the devil. Now, the next thing is that fallen angel are real because Jesus Christ himself have attested that Lucifer who is known as Satan is a fallen angel. In Luke 10 verse 18, Jesus told the 70 evangelists, which he sent out for evangelism that he saw Satan falling like a lightning from heaven, probably as a result of their expedition. So, the issue of angels falling from heaven is a common phenomenon in the Bible days. And come to think of it, they may still be falling from heaven even today. Apostle Paul also attested to the presence of fallen angels in Ephesians 6 verse 12, where he wrote, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Do you notice that he ended the verse with special forces in the heavenly realm? The only forces that coordinate things in the spiritual realm are the either angels or the demons. The heavenly realm stands for the spiritual world, where angels and demons have access. It is interesting to note that the Bible mentioned the word angels about 300 times from Genesis to Revelation. So, we have angels that are still in heaven to today while others have fallen and are now believed to be demons. The angels that remain in heaven have different functions that they do daily. Apart from being guardian angels, they have many other tasks that they perform especially in the heaven. First, they praise and glorify God daily. If you read Revelations 4 verse 8 it says, Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around, even under its wings. Day and night they never stop saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, and is, and is to come. The creatures that have wings in heaven are definitely angels, and their duty is to sing and worship God, day and night. It is for same the reason that the angels that announced the birth of Jesus to the shepherds in the field also told them to sing glory to God in the highest for the birth of the Savior of the world in Luke 2 verse 14. Apart from having to worship God, Angels are also great warriors and fighters. They fight spiritual battles to keep the demons in check, and if not, the devil, and his demons will have overrun the world by now. Interestingly, the Bible says that humans are lower to the angels in term of spirituality. Psalm 8 verse 5, King James Version For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. And Psalm 103 verse 20, English Standard Version, says, Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obeying the voice of his word. A well-known example of the strength and agility of the angels is the case of Angel Michael's fight against the Prince of Persia, who withstood Angel Gabriel on his way to deliver message to Prophet Daniel, from God, Daniel chapter 10. The Prince of Persia is actually the demon in control of the Persian dynasty at that time. Now, most times when an angel appears to humans in the world, they do so in the form of human. Most of the scriptures that talked about the appearances of angels in the Bible says the angels came in the form of humans. Right from the time of Abraham, the angel that came to announce to him about the birth of Isaac appeared to him as a man. When the angels that came to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah met Abraham before meeting Lot in Sodom, they appeared as ordinary men. The same thing happened in the time of Prophet Balaam. The angel that drew sword against his donkey 
and made the donkey speak to Balaam when he was appointed by Bullock to curse the children of Israel, appeared to him as a man. Even after the death of Jesus, the woman that went to the tomb of Jesus, and did not find his body, mistook the two angels they saw as the men, meaning they looked exactly like men. The fact that angels are spiritual beings makes most humans that have encounter with them fear their presence. This should be the reason that they usually announce their presence by saying, Fear not, to those they are sent to bring a message. One of the most frequent lies about angels is that they fly about with their wings as birds on the earth. No, they do not necessarily need to fly with their wings like birds, but they can easily disappear and appear as they move from one place to another. Due to their spiritual nature, humans have tried to worship them over the years and even today many people try to worship the angels. However, angels have clearly stated that they are not to be worshipped, as God is the one to be worshipped in many instances in the Bible. Now, there are four main types of angels according to the Bible. The first type of angels are the archangels. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. The second set of angels that are depicted in the Bible are the cherubim. Psalm 18 verse 10, He rode on a cherub and flew. He came swiftly on the wings of the wind. The third type of angels that are identified in the Bible are the seraphim. Isaiah 6 verse 2 Above him stood seraphim, each having six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying. Then the fourth type of angels are the ones I have mentioned in the beginning of this video. They are the four living creatures singing in Revelation 4 verse 8. Though some people believe that the four creatures are probably the cherubs or the seraphs, now, the lies about angels that is commonly believed is the fact that most drawings, paintings and depictions of angels in the world today show them as beautiful men and women nicely dressed and looking innocent. No, angels are not innocent looking creatures at all. They are dread looking creatures with red eyes, sharp teeth, beasts looking and ready to devour. They are warriors remember. For example, Ezekiel 1 verse 18 and Revelation 4 verse 8 talked about the angels having rims and eyes over their bodies. They will be looking frightening and not innocently beautiful creatures. This is the reason most humans that had encounter with angels do so in fear and trembling. The next biggest lie about angels is believe that is often used even in the church that there is a guardian angel for each person in the world. People often use Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12, which says, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. This scripture may not necessarily mean every believer has angel guarding him or her daily. Now, concerning the fallen angels, you need to know that though these fallen angels can still be in the heavenly realms, just like the way the Satan appeared among the angels in the presence of God during the time of prophet Job in the Bible. The fact that they are fallen really means they are fallen and cannot be brought back to be good angels again. The salvation that is available in Jesus Christ is reserved only for humans alone. The angels do not have the privilege to be saved like the humans. So, when angels fall from heaven, they are excommunicated forever from God because they have made a choice for eternal destruction. 2 Peter 2 verse 4 For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment. What you must know is that fallen angels are beings that have decided to rebel against God and were then cast out of heaven by God. They were cast out and not outrightly killed because they are made of the nature of immortality. So, they cannot just be killed like the humans. Their death is in form of incarcerations. God has appointed a time for their imprisonment. Jude verse 6 And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority but abandoned their proper dwelling, these he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. Now, the main difference between an angel of God and a fallen angel 
is the fact that the fallen angels have rebel against God. Revelations 12 verse 4 tells the event that happened at a time when Lucifer and a third of the whole angels in the heaven challenged God. What actually happened was a civil war, where Lucifer felt he has grown enough wings that he wanted to have his own territory or if possibly dethrone God and make himself God. However, God will not have such an insubordination, so he ordered his loyal angels led by Angel Michael to fight Lucifer, and the angels overpowered Lucifer and his camp, and cast them out of heaven entirely. It was a case of banishment. Now, when they were cast out of heaven, the only best place for them to go is the earth, where there were humans. They planned to infiltrate the earth and grow their ranks with the aim to once again, gather enough battalion to stage a fight back against God. Now, Lucifer and all the angels that sided with him and were cast out of heaven at that instant are the ones termed as the fallen angels. Apart from just discarding them out of heaven, they are to face a final punishment in the lake of fire as described in Revelation 20 verse 10, where they will be locked forever. So, because their faith is sealed, and they know that their time is short, they are going about as the devil, and the demons we have today, deceiving humans and wreaking havoc on the earth before the time. They do that through influencing humans to go against the word of God and sway them to the part of evil. This is just to swell in their number and muster enough manpower to go against God. Now, the main lies about fallen angels are as follows. That fallen angels or demons can inhabit a believer. At times people and even Christians worry that demons will possess them against their wish. But this is a lie, because demons cannot inhabit a Christian. He or she is the temple of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 the devil cannot take over the temple of God. Another lie is that demons are more powerful than humans. As believable as this may look, it is a big lie. If the demons have more power than humans, they would have overrun the whole earth by now. Humans have the power over demons through the word of God and their faith in God. The Bible says the Holy Spirit empowers the believers to exercise their authority over the devil and his demons. Acts 19 verses 13 to 16. Thank you for your support.